and again said move away she said no leave us alone this man then proceeded to punch her and she literally fell down the stairs but he wasn't done mm -mm -mm. he ran down the stairs and continued to punch her pull her hair obviously this is a five what's up guys welcome back to the channel and i do not know why did i get this across my table man this is crazy because I, I, I react to just about everything because we're the alternative channel over here. But this is just plain crazy. All this for just internet clout. Like, for real, for real. In this clip, we're going to listen to this young lady from London tell a story about her and her friends being out and one of her friends getting beat up by a man because she refused to give him their social media i guess this is modern times now so instead of just asking for a phone number it's social media but don't this sound awfully familiar to you guys no more wasting time let's get it hold on I have a boyfriend whenever a guy asks for your social media give him your snap Give him your Instagram. I don't care that he looks like an ogre. I had just finished at the club with my friends and we decided to go for a McDonald's and we literally just sat on some steps. Bear in mind we are wearing heels and quite small dresses. Obviously we're all a little bit drunk because we've just come from the club so logic isn't really kicking in. So this young lady is, is putting on makeup. Like I guess she's like a makeup influencer because when I went to her channel to actually find this video, it's nowhere to be found. I mean, there's a couple of videos after this acknowledging the story, but the original video is nowhere to be found. And I guess somebody must must have got it before she took it down because of maybe all the backlash. So I guess she's a makeup influencer or something like that because her whole channel deals with her doing makeup and everything. So let's continue man decides to come up to us and says you girls look beautiful we say thank you then he asks for my instagram and i politely declined oh no thank you i'm not interested the man did not move he asked again i said i'm literally not interested like no you can't have my social media at first listen like you you tell the guy maybe he's drunk maybe he's obnoxious or something like that and then you would tend to agree with her like yeah okay i said no uh, no thank you no and you're still being a little bit persistent i get it but let's continue in this rabbit hole he just decided that he wasn't gonna move until i gave him my instagram and he was making us all feel super uncomfortable probably should have just given in but if i've said no once i'm not gonna change my mind obviously men don't understand that so my friend stood up and she said please can you move away she said no he said no i'm not moving until she gives me her social my friend again said move away she said no leave us alone this man then proceeded to punch her and she literally fell down the stairs but he wasn't done mm -mm -mm. he ran down the stairs and continued to punch her pull her hair obviously this is a five foot four girl against like a six foot one man okay so here's where it gets weird and confusing so in the beginning of the story you said you was there with some girls so i'm gonna assume you're with maybe about two or three girls right two or three girls so the man hits your friend okay knocks her down the stairs and y'all two just stood there and let him do that you 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 two or you you and your other friends just stood there and let the man go down there and kick punch pull her hair i, I don't know how y'all get down over in 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 london but i know for a fact that over here in the states especially if the ladies are like tight with one another but if you think of a ladies especially a group of ladies is going to stand there and let one man beat up on this one girl i mean there's plenty of tiktok videos of of females beating up either other females or other dudes when they get bothered i've seen it but you're over here 
telling a story that I'm finding very, very hard to believe because I honestly think you're just doing this for a TikTok clout because it seems as though the original video like literally blew up, but it backfired. And now this particular video is nowhere to be found. He was so into the whole punching thing that his trousers literally fell down. Like we could see this man's whole bum. Oh, he's got her pinned on the ground, literally repeatedly punching her in the face. We obviously couldn't stop it because we are also just gonna get beaten up. You just stood there and, and just let him beat up on a girl because you guys, and you keep saying we, like it's more than one person. You you guys was afraid that y'all would get beaten up or something like that. Hey, listen, I get it. But don't this sound eerily familiar, right? Didn't something like this happen to a young lady in Houston by the name of Roe Reports, where she said that a man hit her in the face with a brick because she wouldn't give him his phone number my same question to you was the same question to her it's where's the video footage somebody had to be recording you 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 telling a captivating story and don't get me wrong i mean if it's true then it's crazy but i i tend to believe that it's not true at all because we've seen we we've seen we've seen people get on the internet do a lavish a lavish stories for clout for gofundme for for the, the the attention and believe me this video had a lot of attention she even go as far as come back in another video which i couldn't find but somebody else had and said that no nah, she wasn't getting involved she was an associate she wasn't even a friend oh whoa wow now i i i kind of like break that down myself i have associates and i have friends but hell i'm not gonna stand there and watch a whole grown ass man beat up on a woman after he asked me for my social media and i turned him down and my friend stood up to tell him to shoot him away and he assaulted her I'm not going to, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm going to, bro, what, what? No. But then again, these are women and modern women at that. They probably might be across the pond, but it's still a modern Roman. Where's the video? Where's the cell phone footage? This is TikTok. You telling the story. You mean to tell me you wouldn't, you, you don't have no footage. You don't have no footage. So that, that just makes me believe that this whole story is capped like capity cap 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 i i just believe this story is cap i think she's just doing it for tiktok clout some more followers some more acclamations i guess but she's definitely not getting that because like i said it's it's like every other video that's reacting to this is reacting to it the same way i am like i it's unbelievable it's 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 not a believable story you telling a captivating story but it's not a believable story because you you don't have no viable proof. Strangers were jumping out of their car and trying to separate them. And this man just ended up running off. A massive group of men like asked us what happened and tried to find him. Like they all went after him. But genuinely no one could find him. And obviously with the London Underground, you can hop into any station and disappear like that. And someone who was watching it all happen called the police and they asked for a statement from us and like a description of him. Obviously they never found him and nothing was done about it. This girl literally having a patch of hair missing from her head and bruises all over her. And I can't help but think it was my fault because I chose to say no. I, I agree with you choosing what you want to say as far as not giving up your your social but is it your fault maybe shouldn't you have done something yes yes if that was your true friend but we come to find out that she wasn't but still i i find this cap i mean i i don't know I don't know. What, what do you guys think? She got a little bit more to say. To a man, which is crazy. The only way to prevent yourself from this happening and staying safe is honestly just 
let them have it because at the end of the day as soon as they add you you can literally block them straight away i would say avoid giving out phone numbers just because they can still carry on calling caller id even if you've blocked them i don't care how ugly they are because this is actually a safety issue no one should ever experience that in their lifetime i agree i agree but still i i don't believe this story i don't believe it i mean you guys could say hey lock out it's it's believable it's happened i believe it and all like that and and she did the right thing yeah i guess she did the right thing by not giving the person the phone number but come on let me ask you guys in the comments right if you was with somebody somebody was being bothered you step up to the plate you get assaulted and your friend or the person that you're with is just standing there watching you getting your your ab how you going to feel about them afterwards let's get the conversation started let us know your thoughts in the comment uh and too deep like omar make me want to track you down and hit the track off with the crowbar i knew we wouldn't go far like we ran out of ethanol now your nosy ass mama want to get involved when i met you you was on the couch with the plastic she need an emmy bitch so dramatic now your baggage got me on edge like jagged fucking up my homes look patrick you swift to jump shift like a chief been crying on my line like Therese, but it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.